today we're going to bring back the sniping game. So we did the first part a couple of weeks ago, but it had really good reviews, and I thought that we would do a part two as well. So um, in today's episode, as you can see, we have a really nice game, but the problem is that the ninjas, and they're huge, um, because I changed that by accident, and I was fooling around before this. So actually, when we made it last time, it was like that. First of all, they're looking the wrong way. Also, when you shoot them, they don't die. And this, it thinks it's touching it from here. So we have a couple of things to fix in the costumes. So first of all, go to your key and zoom in. And then you have to center it. So put that like right here. And then in your ninja, um, we're going to first of all take out the bottom part because I feel like it's a weird not to have a walking animation if you have legs. Or we could just make it like a, I mean, you've seen those games before, right? Where they only have heads and it's it's cool so we're gonna oh boy it's supposed to delete okay there we go so then also what you want to do is hold this and shrink it down a lot like that and then make sure it's centered once again which it almost is and then go into your scripts and say set size to 100 percent so now um, you can see that they're going to come, but they're still looking the wrong way. To fix that, stop the program and press this right here. This will flip the left and right. So now it's facing right. Also, I'm going to delete that. So now they should point the right way, and you can see that they are. But now it doesn't delete when I shoot it. So what we're going to do is go into here and say, when I start as clone, if... Um, Dragon of Forever, if, and go into Operators, Dragon and And, go to Sensing, say if touching color, we're going to use the red in the middle of the crosshairs, and then And mouse is down, then um, delete this clone, and yeah, so now that should work, let's see. So the first one comes from the left. Oh, well, let's do full screen because I know there are some glitches that could happen. Or it doesn't seem to be working. Also, it's really laggy because I'm recording the computer and I'm playing at the same time. So that's a problem. But anyways, so it doesn't seem to be working. So we're going to need to go into there. If touching color, that and mouse is down. Let's press this question mark. Okay. I think that should work. I'm not sure why it doesn't. But what we can do is... Okay. If touching color... Let's just try this. If touching color... Okay, it's not even sensing that it's touching this color. Oh, I know why. Because the opacity... There we go. Now... Now, if we go into here, and then we click that, now it should work. There we go. Okay. So, that was a problem. And you saw me fix that. So, go into your and, and mouse down, and you can put that in now. If you didn't catch that, what happened was the ghost was set to 25. You can just remove that all together, and then it should work. And then, simply retake the color. So, now they're all coming here, but nothing happens if they do so the thing is going to be like um um basically if they get it then um you have to shoot them before um they let's see actually you just have to shoot them if they get the key then you lose okay so you can see that i can shoot them now and <coughs> um if uh, let's change our backdrop, so go into stage, go into backdrop, and we're going to change it to like this gray here, and then put some rec rectangles in, like, oh, I guess that works, and then put in another one that's light colored, like, oh, 
font. And then here, you can put even darker ones, like, let's choose this. And then we can go into rectangle, put a little small ones there. So there we go. Okay. So, um, now it looks a lot more special. And also to this, we're going to add a, um, like a glistening effect so that it's more like alive. So go and pick an or uh, uh, the dark yellow. But can you see that on there? Not really. So what can you do this? Yeah. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add another sprite, and um, all this is gonna be is simply. So here we're gonna want to have this, and then in this you want to have yellow, and then go into this. And then simply make a circle by holding shift. And then go into your colors. And if we, yeah, that should work. Oh. If we click right there, let's try white. OK, that's better. And then take your eraser and just erase the hard, the hard edges around it. Okay, that looks bad. We'll just leave it like that. So then um this is going to go behind. So instead we could just say when flag clicked go back a couple of layers, so right here. Two layers, let's say. So then um forever its job is basically just to repeat a, a showing and then hiding. So you can say change ghost effect by 10. And then repeat this by just duplicating this. And then change that to negative 10. So now we should have a pretty smooth. It's a little bit too fast. So we'll do repeat 50 times, change by 2, 2, and negative 50. All right, so now it's a little m more glowing. Oh, I did it the wrong way. There we go. Um, and that looks really nice. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for the tutorial today. Um, well, I'll probably do another one of these and another one of the tank games, another scroller, and um, as well as another uh. I'm forgetting the space game that I did yesterday. So, um, yeah, those should come in the future sometime. Thanks for watching. Comment what you want next time. I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.